you know, I, I would speak up right now, but I kind of fucked up my voice during the rumble, which was, I must say, out of the six matches that were on the card tonight, two of the six definitely fulfilled what it was supposed to do. The Rumble this year, it feels like it's a mixed bag. For me, I pretty much enjoyed it. I know a lot of people have mixed opinions about the Rumble this year. But for me, I still pretty much enjoyed it from start to finish. But I know I had to judge this, not objectively, but the other way around. I had to be unbiased. So, uh. Ah, no, what? Fuck it. I loved the Royal Rumble this year. I thought the matches were from the starting match all the way to the end match, which was the men's rumble. The one thing I probably would switch would be the men's rumble not being the main event, and then the women's rumble being the main event instead because of the actual surprise that was in the women's rumble instead of the men's rumble. So let me break it down. Start to finish. The Universal Championship match, Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins, was an absolute perfect masterpiece. Seth is a god amongst assholes, who is a genius, a character unlike anything ever existing, and simply put it, one of the best ever in wrestling, period. He enters in with the S.H.I.E.L.D. outfit. From the very moment you hear Sierra Hotel, India, Echo Lima, Delta, S.H.I.E.L.D. You just immediately feel like, oh, he's really putting this, he's really put effort into it. Seth Rollins has gone too far. Because Roman never forgave him. And the match itself was absolute perfection. I couldn't have asked for a, a much better match than what they gave us i know a lot of people say the dq finish was iffy and it didn't mean it didn't happen but it was perfect it was simply perfection i loved it it creates the narrative that hey roman and seth they're not done yet seth still has the edge over roman and roman still can't beat seth when it matters most seth can still get involved in the feud one way or another which makes this all the more enjoyable to wait for that one thing to happen. And that's Seth Rollins most likely being added to the Universal Championship picture, which I would not mind one bit. Because of how much story is actually behind this match. There's a lot of story involved within Roman Brock and Seth. It's going to be Roman versus Brock. I'm going to get to that later. But adding Seth into that equation, that triple threat creates the story of dating back to 2015. Seth cashed in in the main event that featured Brock and Roman. Seth has unfinished business now with Roman Reigns, especially Brock Lesnar still having unfinished business with Seth Rollins because he lost the Universal title not once but twice against Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has enemies galore within and ties galore within that rivalry it makes it so perfect and so sense sensible to put Seth Rollins within the rivalry that is Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar because I don't think that many people are going to be interested in a Roman and Brock feud again although the tie is now Paul Heyman I'll get to that again later um still amazing absolute perfect match i wouldn't have changed the uh, guillotine finish roman reigns laying hell to with to seth with a chair it was so perfect a lot of people are waiting for like moxley or ambrose to make an appearance that's not gonna happen i'm perfectly fine with that i am perfectly fine with it uh just being seth roman handling their business that was never really finished to begin with the Women's Royal Rumble. I got this one right. I've been waiting on this for two long years. Ronda fucking Rousey. Fucking won. And this was a really fun Rumble match all the way from the beginning to the end. Uh, I'll, 
disappointments within it were uh sasha getting eliminated early sasha banks getting eliminated early was definitely uh something that was shocking and definitely something that kind of pissed off a lot of people especially when i was watching in the chat with uh chiseled adonis go subscribe to his channel he is an absolute legend he just got off live on the hot mic app it was ronda getting eliminated early melina Having a nice little uh, appearance. Unfortunately, she didn't get to do too much because she got eliminated first. Damn, she thick though. And some impressive people in the Rumble match. Uh, Rhea Ripley was good. Charlotte obviously was good. They had a little tie-in. They had little ties in. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Ivory with the uh, right the censor character. Get it the fuck out of here. Uh, Sonya Deville getting eliminated by Ma uh, Naomi was really good after Cameron had a little bit of a spot in there, which was actually pretty good. The tie in Naomi and Cameron and Sonya Deville all together, although Sonya eliminating Naomi was absolute shit. I still don't know why they're doing this. I'm not going to raise my voice because I just absolutely broke it when I was watching the Royal Rumble. Uh, Mickey James had a nice performance in the Rumble match. I didn't expect her to have that much of a performance or that long of a performance, and she did. Sarah Logan was a nice surprise to see. I didn't expect her to be in the Rumble match, but she being in there for just a little bit and seeing Liv Morgan's reaction was great. Lita, great. Molly Holly uh, got killed, unfortunately. Uh, all, all around, it was fun to watch. There were nice little spots. And then Ronda Rousey returning at 28 absolutely perfection and i called it ronda fucking rousey is the winner of the 2022 women's royal rumble and not only that she eliminated charlotte flair who she had a match with at wrestlemania 35 so one out first Ronda. Now it's on to number two, Becky Lynch. Because Becky retained her title against Dewdrop. It wasn't a bad match. I will say that. It wasn't a bad match at all. It's fine for the 13 minutes that went. But, however, um, it was overshadowed due to the sign actually catching on fire. The WrestleMania sign caught on fire just a little bit, just a little bit of a spark that was within one of the wires. Uh, I saw that on Twitter. I'm glad everybody is okay. I hope nobody got anything dropped on them. I hope not. I, I, I mean, if anybody did, I, I hope they're not severely injured. But for what it was worth, watching the match, Becky Lynch versus Dewdrop wasn't bad. <laughs> It ended with Becky hitting a second rope manhandle slam. Dewdrop had a really nice performance in this match. Hands down, uh, Becky is a unselfish performer. She's really good at getting over some people that really deserve the spotlight. And Dewdrop definitely deserved the spotlight tonight. It was actually her time to actually get a chance to be in the ring with somebody as big as Becky Lynch. And it, she showed. She showed that she can hang and she has a chance to be a women's champion very soon. Just not right now. Uh, Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. 10 minutes of suplex, 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 strength and strength, meat boy and meat boy, and Roman Reigns hitting a spear, and Paul Heyman double-crossing Brock Lesnar in the most perfect setup I've seen in a long time. Lashley winning the title, I have no problem with that. It shows that Brock Lesnar wants to, like, wanted to do something in his own favor to get to give someone back something that he deserved. Bobby Lashley being the WWE Champion again is good. I don't mind it one bit. It sets up something so perfect, which was actually set up right into later in the night. It was awesome to see uh, Roman get involved, saying that he, had, he doesn't want Brock at all. He wanted Brock to lose, and Brock lost, and then... Now, he, Roman has set himself up for absolute hell, which I'm going to enjoy a lot. And the match itself wasn't bad. It didn't feel boring to me a bit. I was actually eating some spaghetti meatballs the last of what it made. Really spicy, really good. Um, but uh, it was awesome. And then I saw the spear 
for what it was worth, the 10 minutes that they got, simply great. It was absolutely great. I absolutely loved it. I really do think that this has the makings of being one of the best booked rivalries in WWE. And probably one of the most unpredictable in terms of ending. Because who knows how this is going to end. Uh, the Grit Couple versus the It Couple. Edge and Beth Phoenix versus The Miz and Maurice. I'm going to say this. Maurice was actually really impressive in the ring. She showed a lot that she's, she's still got a little bit of what it takes. Just a little bit. To be to still really good in the ring in terms of moves and how she's how she handles herself. She is absolutely caked up into the max. Because that milk is goddamn sexy. She is so delicious. Creamy. Oh my god. Get that ass over here, Marisa. I mean, I'm. If she, you were very impressive. You were very impressive. I'm gonna. Edge and Beth won. Double glam slam, double spear. I wish that Marisa got speared. I would do something with Marisa to get. I was speared. Marisa was something right now. The men's rumble. Fine. It was. Fine. My pick didn't win, which I hate because of uh, how he went from number one to the very end. Almost, it felt like, you know, this rumble felt like somewhat of a rush job, which it didn't need to be. But then again, it kind of did because this dragged on. It's right now 1222. The rumble match, the rumble ended at what, about 12 this evening. What happens to when pay per start at 7? I don't know. But it was fine. The match was fine. The final two was fine. Brock winning is fine. Because it sets up Brock and Roman. Which a lot of people will hate. Because we're saying this, what, again for the 20th time? I mean, no, we're not. I mean, 2015, uh, 2017, we saw it in a Fatal 4-Way. 2018, so about two times. Uh, 2021. We're seeing this for a sixth time and a third WrestleMania. But I'm not, I'm not mad at it one bit because the story has been booked to perfection. It's been booked so well. Paul Heyman working as a double agent has been so well done. Honestly... I wish this was for the WWE Championship, though. I would have Roman lose the Universal title to Seth. Seth would then face AJ Styles. Brock would win the WWE Championship. Or it, Seth would probably face anybody that would win the uh, the Elimination Chamber in Saudi. Um, Seth would face the winner of the Chamber or defend the Universal title in the Chamber. Um... Roman holds on to Roman loses the universal title. Brock retains the WWE title and then Roman wins the Rumble. That set up Roman to face Brock for the WWE title on SmackDown because the universal title just isn't a championship to me. It doesn't feel worthy of anything and I feel the WWE championship should have a much bigger spotlight than what it is getting right now. I'm not saying Bobby Lashley is going to be a bad WWE champion it's just, or the championship has been treated bad because of Lashley, Biggie, and Drew recently. But I feel like it should be um I feel like it should be for the WWE championship instead of the universal title. It would make the title feel much more important on a much high branded show like SmackDown with the stars that it has. Be nice for something. It would not it would have been nice for a change. If Roman winning the title, the WWE title would have been a big moment. Or maybe even um adding somebody else in there. But then again, Seth can do his own thing. But Seth can get involved in this feud still because he's not done just yet. He only lost by a disqualification so he's gonna have that claim to the universal title to the universal title match so that was my thoughts on the royal rumble i enjoyed it for what it was worth however it was some sort of mid for everybody else who really thought that it died down after the women's rumble after and into the uh women's title match unfortunately 
Uh, do I disagree with it? No, I do not disagree with many people's opinion that the Rumble it was trash. But at the same time, uh, I did not mind this Rumble one bit. It was fun to watch. It was fun to see the eliminations. Fun to see the people that came in. Especially on the women's side. The men's side uh, didn't have too many surprises. But at the same time, uh, it did feature some really good uh, story progression. This Rumble features some good story progression into WrestleMania. I hope, I hope, I hope uh, everything goes right within that time period. Uh, let me know what you thought of the Royal Rumble in the comments. I'm going to have some reaction videos that are going to be posted up onto the channel. Uh, and I'm going to try to rest my voice tonight because I need it because I broke it. And also, it's going to be Championship Weekend. Not on WWE side or AEW side, but on the NFL side. We still got a lot more stuff to watch. I still have a lot more stuff to watch. Uh, until then, stay safe. Thank you all so much for watching some of the videos that have come up recently. I know I uploaded six videos within a span of like number of hours, but thank you for tuning in. And this is another video that's going to come up and a couple more that's going to come up. I love you guys so much. Be safe. Follow all safety protocols. Uh, it's winter right now. And if you were happen to be around the northeast area of the United States, I hope you all are safe. And the snow didn't hit you too bad. I will see you all very soon. Most likely this Monday for all. Love you guys. Good night. Good night, everybody.